Hey guys, it's Marty M again with m and m Shortline Railroad. Uh, I've got an update for you. Um, finishing up the bridge, well, I thought was finished uh, at my last video, um, but it just wasn't right. It wasn't sit with me. It wasn't what I envisioned on modeling on my rip, on my uh, railroad layout. So I wanted it green. A shade of green and obviously it was completely rusted out and that just wasn't gonna work for me so I did some more research on uh, the old YouTube channels and uh, decided to try uh, the chipping effect I already had the rust as a base layer all I had to do was add the chipping medium and uh, the final color and uh, go to town and uh, reveal all the rust I wanted and still have trace amounts of uh, the color and with the rust showing through and uh, I was hoping for a pretty cool effect and well it actually turned out pretty well uh, this is more of what I was hoping for and it really actually turned out I'm really really happy so I wanted to just uh, film a video show you guys share my experience and uh, just let me know what you guys think. Um, that's the uh, chipping medium and the color that I used. It's uh, Vallejo Intermediate Green. And then the chipping medium there, of course. So let me just pan over here. That's uh, the finished product there now with the rust reveal and you can obviously see the color there that I was looking for with the rust effects so I think it uh, I think it turned out pretty well excuse the mess on the workbench I'm trying to want to show a lot of the color let me move this kind of goes all the way up and over Hope the lighting's all right. Hope you can see that. Try to get it to reflect off this white foam board. The only thing I'm not sure of, because I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, is that. That's a solid rust color. I could just add some effects to that. Um, I would definitely appreciate any suggestions or ideas on how just to fade in some effects there and make it look good. Uh, so please feel free to let me know. Let me turn around to the other side. I don't know if I can zoom in or not. Oh yeah, I can. That chipping effect and the, the scratching. And all I did was I used a wire brush with a little bit of water on it after the, uh, the final coat dried. You know, the allotted time. And just uh, went across it with a small round wire brush here. I'm trying to get it. One of those guys. And you you can have you have really good control. You can see the amount that's coming off. And if I wasn't sure how much was coming off I just take a paper towel and dab it dry up the water and the paint that's being removed and uh, see if I liked it see if that was enough I just kind of went random so let me just turn this the rest of the way I've never done this before this is the first time I've done any serious modeling like this and I just think that turned out great. It was super easy. Just got to have patience and just the effects are incredible. And it's, like I said, completely, just completely random. It's nothing you can calculate or do. Just, just get it done and uh, however it turns out is 
how it's going to turn out. There's no rhyme or reason. It's like that in uh, the real world. Just rust is going to happen and paint fading and rusting out. <clears throat> so again, yeah, if you guys got any, any other suggestions for that, please feel free to leave a comment. And, uh, you know, let people know I'm trying to get uh, involved in this community. The uh, model railroad community has got some really friendly, informative people, and uh, I'd like to be a part of it. So uh, give me a comment. Uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think and any ideas for that, the base of it, where the two tracks are going to be. Uh, please feel free. I'm open to suggestions, and uh, we'll see at the next uh, the next update where this could be installed on my layout, and you guys can actually see my layout or the beginning of it, and uh, hopefully soon get some trains going. Kind of Jones in here to get some uh, some trains uh, doing some laps. Anyway, thanks again, guys. Have a good one.